In this video, I'll show you how to use the Sound and Sleep Projector Suitor, made by the company Tiny Love. There are many features and many buttons. I'll show you how to activate and deactivate each of them. So let's get started. First, before even starting, make sure the device is charged. It comes with a USB cable in the box. Make sure to let it plug at least a few hours to have a full battery. Now, when the unit is charged, if we turn it around, we have all the controls on the back over here. To turn the unit on, all you have to do is to click once on the power button, which is located on the top here. And to know that the unit is powered on, the little light over here will be turned blue. One feature of this product is that it has a small LED light over here, right on the front, that can be used as a lamp. To activate this, you'll need to use these two buttons. Right now, it's off. There's no light. To turn it on, you just need to click on this top button over here, where there's a light bulb with a plus button, and the lights will turn on. To adjust the intensity of these lights, you just have to click on this button a few more times, and it has about five levels of brightness. If you want to lower the light, simply click on the light bulb button with the minus and you'll lower the light until you turn them completely off. Another feature is that it's able to play five different soothing white noise. To do that, all you have to do is to click on the white noise symbol. It's this one over here. Click once and you will be able to hear the first white noise. To adjust the volume of this, you just have to press on either of these volume buttons. So louder or quieter. If you want to uh, listen to the next white noise, all you have to do is to press on this button, which is the next button. Here we have some water flowing, some bubbles. This is more a nature kind of noise. And here again, uh, some different water. To turn off at any time this kind of noise, all you have to do is to press the stop button, this one. And it will stop completely. This sound machine also has 17 lullabies included. To hear them, you need to press this uh, music button over here. And it will start playing. To skip to the next one, again, just press this button. You can also go back using this button. Either of these will work. And the melody will change. I won't go through all of them, but you get the idea. You can stop at any time by pressing again the stop button and the music will stop. An additional feature is that you're able to play your own mp3 files. So if you have a favorite song that you want uh, your baby to hear or, or if you want to import custom songs or noises, all you have to do is, well, first you need to plug the device to your PC or Mac with the USB cable that is included. Okay, so over here. And then all you have to do is to drag and drop the MP3 file in the device that will appear on your computer, just like that. Once you have imported the song, to hear it, all you have to do is to press the play button that has the MP3 sign over here. Press it once. And well, this is a song I have input from my computer and it will play. If you have multiple ones, you can skip them and go through the next one using those buttons. To pause it, just press again the MP3 button here, or you can press the stop button as well it will completely stop the noise. This also has a feature that is called the cry sensor. It's this button over here. When you press it, 
the blue light will turn on, telling you that it's activated. What it does is that when it detects your baby crying for more than 5 seconds, it will play the last sound that you were using. So you don't have to actually touch the unit to uh, make any sound, it will activate automatically just by hearing your baby crying. To turn it off, you just need to press it again and the blue light will go away. It also has a timer over here. It has four different options. The first one that is at the far left, as it is right now, it means that the timer is off. The music will play until there's no more battery in the unit. So if you want to play a lullaby, this, this will play until you touch the stop button. But what if you just want it to play 10 minutes, 30 minutes or 60 minutes? Well, this is why there's a timer over here. You just have to move this small switch to 10, 30 or 60. And after the timer is off, so let's say I've set it to 60 minutes, the lullaby will completely shut off by itself and it will be silent. If you don't want it, again, just leave it at the far left and it will play infinitely. The last feature of this really cute device is this projector. You see the star over here? When you press on it, there is a small projector on the top of the hedgehog head over here. I know it's hard to see, but it projects a small pattern of stars on the ceiling when obviously there is no lights around. Right now it's way too bright. But here I will show you a small example when I tested it at night. You can see the pattern doesn't move really, it just stays uh, the way it is. But I think it's a nice feature that uh, many other sound machines don't have. To turn it off, you just need to tap again on the star button and the projector will turn off. When you're done using this uh, device, again, to turn off completely, press the power button, just tap it once, the light will turn off and everything will be, everything will shut down. So this is it. This is how you use this device. I hope this was useful. By the way, I have put links in the description on Amazon if you want to get one of these and uh, other baby accessories. Please leave a comment, a like, and um, I'll see you in the next one.